Welcome guys to the first ever day in a life vlog that I've ever made at least. The sun's been up for a good minute now and it's time to get up and get this Saturday started. And of course my baby's not going to let me lay in bed all day as much as I'd like to. Guys I've got chronic neck pain so I have to take it easy and get up out of bed like an old person because my arthritis kills me even at my age of 40. First things first, I'm going to pop one of my medications in to get the day started and then I'm going to go hop in my dirty ass bathtub. Yes, that's right. I don't have a wall because the pipe burst last Christmas and we don't have the money to fix it. And also, I know my bathtub is disgusting. I just haven't made it a top priority to clean right now. I mosey on back to the bedroom and make my bed and then I need to get my nappy head brushed out. My hair is not the only nappy hair around here though. I've got to brush my baby girl's hair out and our hair gets tangled and it takes over an hour when we let it get this bad. We're actually getting over COVID so I literally haven't cleaned the house in over a week and I don't even think I've brushed my hair for a week. So it's 11.15 now and this is what I'm working with today. And yes, I'm a trashy, trash mom, garbage dumpster person. I know that guys. But feel free to tell me if you need to. I could use the engagement. But you know what? Today's a new day. I've got my energy back finally. After laying in bed for a week with COVID. So the way that I clean, because I do have ADHD, is I sweep everything into a pile in the middle of the room. It doesn't matter what it is. I sweep it into a pile. Then I sort the pile according to is it dirty laundry? Is it trash? Is it something that goes in another room which we call a return item and I put it in a little box with the intention of returning it to its home. Then when all that's left is crumbs and little bits on the floor I sweep those up. And then this is the result after about an hour or so of cleaning in this bedroom. Hopefully it'll stay that way for at least a week. Also, we have these extension cords because uh, two thirds of our house has no electricity. So we run extension cords everywhere to deliver power from the living room into all the other bedrooms. That right there is the trash pile, the return bin, and the dirty clothes from the bedroom. And now we're into the kitchen and this is what it looks like. Yes, I know, it is bad, it is bad. But it is what it is. We're going to get it cleaned up today and get it back to functioning condition. So, yep, I know. And guess what? I don't really care. Let's just work with what we got and get it cleaned up. That's all that matters is that we're cleaning it now. So I'm just going to remove everything off of this first counter area. And then I'm going to wipe that down. And I'm going to wipe the cabinets down. In case you're wondering and you can't tell where I got my pink appliances, they're literally the cheapest appliances that Walmart sells and manufactures. And I just took a couple of cans of spray paint and took them out back and spray painted them to the color of my liking, which is pink. Also, I can see now that I did a horrible job painting my white cabinets this blue color. I love the blue color, but I am very messy and I got it all over the wall. I usually like to hit the surfaces with some Lysol, but my local Walmart didn't have Lysol, so today I'm using Clorox Oct Octavia, I think it's called. I'm not sure, I'm probably saying that wrong. But I'm definitely not sponsored by them, nor anybody else. As a matter of fact, I am just now starting to create content. If you haven't heard any of my other videos or you haven't been to my channel or any of my social media sites, I'm actually on a journey for purpose, prosperity, and financial freedom. I am determined to become a serious content creator. And that's doing a combination of clean talks, mom talks, comedy, just whatever. Talking on the subjects of ADHD, borderline personality disorder, all of which I have. Raising ADHD and autistic children on the spectrum. Living with a husband from Britain that's not from America. And the culture shock that he goes through in our relationship. 
Um, hopefully there's a lot of other low income moms out there, 130% below poverty level that can relate and will find my content either helpful or enjoyable. I had to stop and take a break and make my youngest daughter a lunch. And yes, of course, I know it's not healthy and it's all processed, but guess what people? If you're poor, you know, you know, processed food is the cheapest food. All right get back to work and I changed the, um, the trash and I'm going to go ahead and take apart the other counter and start to clean it you can see my autistic son there he was just mimicking what I was doing sometimes he likes to mirror my actions and he was acting like he was taking stuff off the counter too and there's my youngest daughter she likes to pop in every now and then and see what mommy's doing today's Saturday so daddy is home and he's just relaxing because he's worked all week and he's just playing a bit of Xbox Apex Legends while I bust my ass and clean this dirty ass house I never got the backing put on after our cabinet was put on many many years ago and so there are holes in the wall where when the old one was removed it kind of ripped pieces of the wall my house needs a lot of improvement and as you continue to watch my videos I know that it's practically a third worldish country house but like I've said many times it is what it is and right now I just have to radically accept that this is what I've got and I'm beyond blessed so I'm thankful for that and I'm thankful that I get to stay home with my kids and take care of my house my children and my man if you've made it this far in the video, congratulations. You probably have many questions bubbling around in your head about how the hell is her house so dirty and out of order? And guess what? I don't have an answer for that. I, I really can't explain it. It's an odd phenomenon. I actually got myself a counselor. Okay, well, I've had a history of counselor and Mr. mental illness, but my last counselor was working with me to combat some of the executive functioning disorder that I have to try to get my house clean because at the time my children were younger and the house was just constantly in disarray and I could not figure out why it would get dirty it was like I would clean one thing and walk over about five feet and the area I just cleaned would be dirty again or at least that's what it seemed like to me and it was very overwhelming and then I would have a hard time getting started and I would get distracted or it just wouldn't be important I, I can't explain it but if you have ADHD I'm sure you can relate I think rather than deep cleaning, my problem is I just do decluttering all the time and then just some light surface cleaning. I'm not sure, but hopefully some of you all can give me some advice. Don't hold back. I'm okay uh, with any type of strategy that you might have to help me stay on top of it. At this point in time, it was time for another pain pill. My head was starting to kill me. My neck was killing me. I don't usually clean for an entire day from sunrise to sunset. This was just to make up for a week of laying in bed with COVID. And I decided to make tomato soup for lunch tonight. Uh, thanks to a follower that I follow on social media, one of my favorite mom talkers, Sam Whalen. She made this recipe and I was like, that looks really good. I want to try it. I got a lot of cheap, crappy soup in the pantry. Uh, so I was like, let's do it. My husband didn't care for it because he saw me put onions in it, but I strained the onions out of him and he didn't even notice until he was like, what did you put those onions in? So I think the secret here to the good crust though is mixing the mayonnaise with the butter. And I added a little bit of garlic powder to that too, just to make it garlicky because I love garlic. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to cook for a family of five without a functional oven. Our oven went out about a month ago now. And it, since it's a gas oven, it's still connected to the gas hookup. And as long as you open up the gas valve on the stove, you can light it with a blowtorch. And so that's what we've been doing for the past month. Anytime I need to use the oven, I have an air fryer that works as like a toaster oven so I can cook small things in there like chicken and meats and things like that. Just no big casseroles or, you know, family style meals. 
So until I get a new oven, probably after taxes, that's what I'm working with. And the tomato soup was very good, by the way. At this point, I just have sweeping and laundry left. Don't judge me. I'm fat and I need to sit down. My knees don't support my big body. And also my neck hurts and I have a headache. So yes, I sit down a lot when I'm cleaning. I mean, I know I need to lose weight for my health, but I'm just not motivated to do it. I don't have a good enough motivator to get me to actually deprive myself of tasty food and lose the weight. I mean, seriously, how many of you women can relate? Overweight women, you've got a man, your children are happy, you're happy, like, you're just, there's no, motiva no, there's no motivation to lose the weight because you're content and happy. So that was my kitchen clean. All I have left now is it's about dinner time. I need to make dinner, do some laundry, mop my room, and mop the floor. My go-to cleaner is Fabuloso. I like the way it smells, but I only had Pine Saw on hand because I had bought it last summer. They said that the smell of Pine Saw would keep flies away, which is a total myth, or at least in my case it was. We had to get those little fly strip things, and they helped a little bit, but not really. I'm not sure why the flies were so bad. Maybe it was my dirty-ass house. There's Jasper and Wiggles. Those are my Sheba and New Doge babies. At this point, I was going to mop the floor and put on a movie on prom while I sit on my bed and fold and sort the laundry. Also, here is a fun tip to my low income mamas. Did you know that if you receive SNAP, if you're a SNAP recipient, that Prime will give you a major discount on their service and it's only $6.99 a month. And then you can cancel all your other streaming apps and for only $6.99 you get access to so many movies. And then when you need to buy something on Amazon, if you have it shipped through Prime, free shipping. That is so thoughtful that the big corporate people at Amazon would think of us little folks, us low income mamas. I am so happy and grateful for that. My dishwasher only works on turbo mode and it doesn't really do a good job because it won't finish the cycle. It shuts off about two minutes before the end. And so sometimes there's food left on and the dishes never are really dry. But I am so blessed to have a dishwasher because I know there's a lot of people out there that still have no choice but to wash dishes by hand so always always be thankful for what you have even if it's not top of the line or it's not the best because there's always somebody out there that has it worse off than you do and unfortunately I still often have to wash dishes by hands especially the big ones that won't fit in the dishwasher and it is my absolute worst chore on earth I hate washing dishes I rather scrub toilets do windows anything but the dishes I do wear gloves and I refuse to do the dishes without wearing gloves because I can't stand to have food touch my hand it's a sensory thing I just can't deal with it this is an iron walk I bought from the Asian store not too far from my house. It was really cheap. It was like $7.99 for a solid iron walk. And I need iron because I'm iron deficient. And I've had to get iron infusions for years before I had my hysterectomy. But the only thing about it is you do have to season it. So you have to keep it covered in oil at all times. And then I think you have to like heat the oil and let the oil kind of form a hard coating over the pan which is no big deal. It only takes a few minutes, so it's worth it. All right, it's now dinner time and the fam requested pancakes, sausage, and eggs for dinner. And so that's what my family is going to get for dinner. And I'm using Millville buttermilk pancake mix from Aldi's. Shout out to my Aldi shoppers. And I just use straight up water from the tap. Mix them bad boys up and the pancakes taste as good as Cracker Barrel almost. They don't have the deep oil fried thing, but I mix it up about that thick. I heat myself up a little griddle onto the stove after I light it with my big ass blowtorch. And then, and that's a scratch on the pan. That is not a hair, just FYI. <laughs> All right. And then I'm just gonna make these pancakes in the whole process cooking for five people usually takes about 20 minutes 
these brown and served sausages were on sale for $4.99 at Kroger's for a big bag. And let me tell you, they are such a time saver for breakfasts and even brinners or, you know, breakfast for dinner. My little man was watching in the background and his curiosity was growing. I think he's going to come over and want to help mama. Yep, he definitely wanted to try to flip a pancake. And you know, you only YOLO, so I let him flip the pancake. What's it going to hurt? if he drops one on the floor as long as he don't burn himself and even if he does get burnt we'll just put some burn cream on it and a band-aid he'll be fine he felt so proud i don't let him cook that often but also he doesn't want to that often so he's very messy like his mommy but he did a really good job so and he felt so proud he even wanted to put his own all the pancakes on the uh, on the plate Next, we're going to fry up some eggs, and there's the hubby right there, getting his pancake. He can't wait for the eggs. He's too hungry. <laughs> and I don't think he cared for the soup that much because it had onions in it, but I'm going to fry up these eggs. I do not like fried eggs, but the rest of the family does. And you know what? Honestly, I wasn't feeling Brenner for dinner. I didn't want pancakes, eggs, and sausage, so... I chose not to eat and there's my kiddos my Otis my middle and my youngest I decided I was gonna have some hot dogs with some Amish hot dog sauce which was a thumbs up by the way the night is coming to an end and I am definitely running out of steam and while I'm sitting in here phone close I heard a loud bang Don't worry guys, it's just my senior citizen husband. He's fallen and he can't get up. I'm just kidding, he was perfectly fine. I didn't show the part where I was asking him if he was okay and he needed me to call 911 and I tried to help him up. He told me to go away and go finish my work. So here I am putting the laundry up, finishing my night off, getting ready to put on the Xbox and relax as soon as I get this last load put away. If you're still here, I want to thank you for joining me. These little moments are what makes up our day-to-day -day lives, and thank you for letting me share mine with you. See you next time.